All right, and thank you so much for coming back. Let's finish up with our Bring Back My Bar. As I told you, this is the summer 2017 Bring Back My Bar campaign. And these are 20, 25 actually, bars that you selected. The top 20 that you selected and then five additional that have never returned were brought back. So, let me just give you a real quick rundown on the pricing on these. They're priced just like all of our other bars. $5 a bar, three for 14, five for 25. You're buying five, getting the sixth bar free, and this is all US prices. Or you can get the entire collection of 25 bars for $105, which is a $20 savings. So that's like getting four bars for free. Okay? Now, let's get back to where we were. Next up, we have. Hawaiian Paradise. Hawaiian Paradise. And you have to ask yourself, what would I imagine Hawaiian Paradise smelling like? A buffet of Hawaiian fruits, pineapple, banana, mango, papaya, and coconut. I think I'm going to like this one. There's pineapple. Mmm. Yeah, you can smell, you can definitely get the individual fruits in this, and they are all, but it's it's all married together in a wonderful fruit salad. Delicious, delicious. Smells amazing, amazing, and that is Hawaiian Paradise. Okay, next up is a very popular scent. A lot of people really wanted this one to come back, and it's called Hendrix. Hendrix, pretty blue, well, kind of a teal blue label, and a really pretty green wax. Rock and roll with an electrifying blend of earthy patchouli, glowing sandalwood, and bold pink pepper harmonized with sweet tobacco flour. Let's see what that means. I can see why people wanted it back. <laughs> oh, that is wonderful. Yes. It's the patchouli. It's got to be the patchouli in there and the tobacco flour mixed. That is wonderful. Yes. Definitely a manly kind of scent, but something I wouldn't mind having in my office, in my room, in my bedroom. Anywhere in the house, I wouldn't mind. But it is more of a masculine scent. Love that. Hendrix. Yes, yes, yes. Next is Javanilla. Javanilla. Sounds like it should be vanilla flavored coffee. Let's see. Sweet African vanilla and Italian espresso. Topped with just a hint of hazelnut. And I've not re I haven't pre-read these descriptions either nor smelled most of these okay I get a little bit of the cream right there hazelnut come on out of there come on out of there usually you can squeeze the sides of it a little bit and it will come on out but this one doesn't want to okay it's a very light It's not, it's not a strong, we have another collection out right now, and it has a stronger coffee scent in it. This is not a real strong, not strong at all, but it is very nice scent, very nice. Java vanilla. I don't get the vanilla note in it, though. Maybe so, but it's real light. Yeah, very, very light. Good scent, good scent. Okay, lime. Sublime. Pretty green. Very light green wax. Refreshing aroma of 100% lime juice. That should be easy. Yep. Smells like a lime. It smells like a fresh lime. Oh my. That smells better. Ooh. That smells better than most lemon scents. <laughs> It smells like it should have a margarita with it. 
Wonderful, wonderful. Lime Sublime. That is yummy. And next is one I know a lot of you have been hoping for because I have been asked about it repeatedly. And it is called Love Story. Love Story. Gorgeous red wax. Innocent pink jasmine and sensual amber embraced by luscious dark chocolate. <gasps> As I explained earlier, get all those other scents out of my nose. Mm. This is, yes, uh, I have to agree. This is a very sexy scent. Oh, yes. I smell the jasmine. Maybe a hint of the chocolate. But definitely a very, very sexy scent. I like that one. Okay. Next up. Midnight Fig. Midnight Fig. It's a real pretty plum colored wax. And it is described as earthy, ripened figs and golden berries tempered by musky woods will open your eyes and captivate your senses. It's a light one. It's not very strong either. Until you warm it. And then it does have an out, it has that outdoorsy, woodsy almost kind of scent. Musky woods. Okay. Open your eyes and captivate your sense. And it's not going to pop out for me. Yes. It's de it is definitely a woodsy kind of scent. But I, I like this. That's nice. Very nice. Midnight Fig. Not what I pictured Midnight Fig smelling like. I will definitely give you that. Next up. It's called My Wish. My Wish. A confection of earthy fig, sweet violet, and playful marshmallow will have you wishing for more. And it's a pretty, pretty purple color wax. I've heard a lot of good things about this one. It's a light, a light fragrance. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. That is nice. I can smell some marshmallow and the violet. I'm not a big fig fan, but I don't smell fig in this as it describes. But this is probably just because of the combination of all of those scents. And it I like I like that a lot. I like my wish a lot. I can see my collection going up, 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 up. Next up is something I really loved as a child. Chasing the ice cream truck down. To get an orange dream sickle. Orange dream sickle. I know how I remember them smelling. Let's see if they're close. Bingo, bango. <laughs> yeah, nailed it. A classic combination of fresh orange swirled with vanilla cream. Nailed it. Oh, I can almost taste it. Yummy. You know, that's one of the beautiful things about scent is it brings back those memories, those, those wonderful, pleasant memories because you, you associate that scent with something from your past. And Orange Dreamsicle is the ice cream truck. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. We, all, we are down to our last five. So hang with me. We're going to go a little over. Root beer float. Root beer float. I've had quite a few of those in my day. It's a very pretty light brown color wax. Now let's see. I love root beer and I like ice cream. The description, concoction of old-fashioned root beer and creamy vanilla ice cream. Oh, yes. There it is. 
Most definitely. Yep. If you stick your <laughs> stick your head in a bucket of vanilla ice cream and pour root beer over that, that's what you're gonna smell. Yo, oh, gosh, delicious, delicious. And I'm on a diet. I'm gonna get off of my diet because of all of these scents. <laughs> Next, we have Route 66. Route 66. Now, Route 66, I did get in a Bring Back My Bar previously, and I know that I like this scent already. A windswept drive, and it's a pretty green wax. A windswept drive in a convertible, an exhilarating breeze of citrus, herbs, and musk. It's a light scent. It's definitely most, I haven't seen one of these that's really strong or overpowering. The apple press is a little stronger. This is like a clean, it is, it kind of has a soap note to it maybe. Uh, fresh out of the shower is what I like to say. Oh, okay ladies, close your eyes with me. And imagine your man fresh out of Fresh out of the shower, and he's wearing that amazing scent that you love. That would be Route 66. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Next up is Spring Symphony. It's a light green, very pretty light green. As fresh as a spring garden, Sweet Hyacinth sings with a fragrant med medley of coconut water, violet leaf, and soft musk. I love hyacinth. Again, light. Definitely get that hyacinth note right there. Come on, come on, come on out for me. There we go. It's a nice, it's a floral, but not, not a floral that should frighten anybody away that doesn't like florals. It's a very light, clean, fresh, oh, Awesome scent, awesome scent. I can smell, I can get the hyacinth in there for sure. The coconut water, maybe so. All right, we're down to our last two. And those would be Sunny and Cher. Sunny and Cher, that's not the Sunny and Cher I remember. <laughs> Sunny and Cher, it's a really pretty bright yellow wax. And it is described as a sunny shore washed clean by a spring shower, soft sea air, Golden citrus and dewy driftwood scattered with white beech daisies. Sounds interesting. I like this. I like this a lot. Again, it's not a super strong scent. I can smell the daisy in it even, and but it's not, like I said, it's not very strong. I don't get a very strong citrus note. It's there, but it's not strong at all. And I know I'm, I'm saying it's not strong, it's not strong, because none of these are really strong, overpowering scents, like, you know, some can be. Finally, we have Summer Sippin'. Summer Sippin'. Oh, this one I should really like. Sun-ripened raspberries and tangy lemons make you wish it were summer. Well, guess what? It is summer. I just dropped a piece of paper. <laughs> Let's see what we have. Mm. Little bit of citrus to it, but I can smell the raspberry. Oh, beautiful mix. Beautiful mix. Lemony raspberry. Yes, I like that. Summer sipping. All right, guys. That is all 25 of your fragrances for the summer 2017 Bring Back My Bar campaign. And as I said, you can get them one bar for $5, three bars for $14, five bars for $25. Buy five, get the sixth one free. Or you get the entire collection of all 25 bars for $105, a savings of $20. That's not bad at all. And you would be you would be set for a little while with scents. So if you are interested, please comment below. Let me know 
click on my link for my website. You can go and order straight there yourself if you'd like. I would love to hear from you. If you liked what you see, please give me a thumbs up. Like and share my, uh, my page, please. I would certainly appreciate that. And with that, I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I'm sorry to have kept you so long, but hey, we just smell 25 cents. Have a great day, guys. Thank you so much. Don't forget, click like and share. Thank you so much.